Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a new tutorial. Today we're going to do this exploding text. So let's check it out. In this tutorial, so do I also add that underwater background I did a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to uh, drop a link below if you want to use that too. That's for now guys, so let's stop talking and jump into the tutorial. Let's go up and make a new composition. We can choose a dark blue background as we're going to use the bubble background later on. But uh, let's start to make a text here. Like so, and we can align it to the center. And we're going to um, add some color to this text here. So we're going to add a gradient overlay. So we're going to the gradient overlay. Let's see, we're going to set the colors to um, a dark blue here. And we can set this to uh, almost white. So that looks fine. And now are we going to add some um, shape to this text too. So we're going to add a layer style here. We're going to add a bevel and bows. And go into bevel and bows here. And we can set this to white. So we get those white edges and we have to set this to a normal too. So, so we get, it. We get that nice edge. We, also can, we can also add um, a stroke that we're going to use later on. We add it already now, so we're going to do a stroke and we can set this to um, black. And we're going to set this to one. And we can also set this to the inside, like so. So now that we have the text here, um, we're going to do the shockwave now. So we can go up here and take the ellipse tool. We can also do like so, we this here, so we can see the center. We can zoom out a little bit and we press in the center and we drag out and we can also hold down the shift and control key. So we do the circle from the center and we make a perfect circle like so. We can let it go there. And now we're going to um, add a mask here. So we set it in the center, drag out, the whole, do, do the same here, shift and control. We can drag this out like so. To around there will be fine. So, and then can we add to the subtract? We're going to set it to subtract like so. Maybe we can change that. Got them not perfectly in the center, I see. We can do it like so. We Let's look fine as we get that edge. It's only that edge we're going to use. Now we can go up here and we can take the rectangle tool and do a new mask. Do so. I'm going to do so. We're going to also going to set that to subtract like so. So we have that arch right there. And now we're going to do so that we're going to add some blur. So we're going to add some directional blur. I've already typed there that so the directional blur is there, but type that and we are going to do like so. We set this to 90 degrees and we add some blur. Let's see, we have to crank this up to around, I think around 70 is fine. And we can go to a mask one here and we're going to change the feather. So we get that soft inside, like so. That looks fine. So now do we have the wave coming over the scene, like this? Um, now can we do like so? We can start to create the engine. We're going to have a null object as an engine here. We can um, press P for the position. And we can drag this null object out over here. And we can set a keyframe here. And we can drag this keyframe out to, let's say we start around two seconds. 
And then can we go forward two and a half second? And we can set this to uh, minus 200. I think that's good enough. Let's see if that's good enough. Now we're going to connect the wave to the null object so it uh, moves along over the scene. So we mark this shape and we press P. Now we're going to drag this pick whip to the position. If you can't see that, just right click and go to columns and see to that uh, parents and links are checked. And now do we drag this pick whip to the position. Like so. Let's see. Ah, oh, we need to change the um, archer point here. So we can uh, drag this archer point out like so. We can drag it out so we get it to the edge of the circle. So we just drag it out. Like so. So now that we have the archer point at the edge. So all properties goes from that position. So when you move things and or resize, so it's at that point that it um, goes from, like so. So now that we have this motion, let's see here, we need to um, change some things here. And uh, we're going to add a um, scale to the wave too. So we get, um, press S for the scale. And we can do, look, do like so. We can set a keyframe here. And we can increase this a little bit. Like so. And we can go back to this keyframe. And set it back to 100 here. Like so. And we can go back again. Let's see here. As we still can see the circle here. So do we need to change the null position? So the circle comes outside of the composition, so we don't see it anymore. Maybe there, that's fine. Let's see how this paste is, if it's good enough or it goes too fast or too slow. Uh, we can go in and remove this title shape so we can see it like so. And, um, now that we have this shockwave coming in, and now we're going to uh, destroy the texture. So we're going to go up and um, make a new layer. We're going to have an um, adjustment layer. We're going to drag this down. Let's see here. Have it above the text, like so. And we can go into uh, effects here, and we can add shatter. We can drag it down to the adjustment layer. And here we're going to go in and see the shape. We're going to add a glass. And we're also going to, uh, let's see, extrusion depth. Change this to zero. And we have to increase the repetition to the max. Maximum is 200 because we want to have small pieces that scatters around. And we can go into a force one and radius. We're going to decrease this so it gets a little bit smaller. Yes, so it covers the text. I think that's perfect there. Yeah, we can set this a little bit down. I think one, around one, one. One point one. There's fine. So. Let's see, and we can go down to uh, the physics. We go to chains. We can go drag this up to one, and the randomness also to one. Set this to around thirty-nine. I think that's fine. Um, gravity. We should have this to zero. I think there's more to change there. So I think that's perfect there. Now can we do so that we are going to um, connect this layer to um, the engine too. So we're going into the scatter. Going to force one. And we're going to the position. So we're going to, you can see here, we can drag this up so we can see a little bit better everything. 
and we're going to the um, see the null object we have the position there and we're going to um drag this position to the null object position like so so we let's see here drag this back as we see here so is the effect a little bit too far forward to the wave so here do we have to make some adjustments so uh, we go in here and um, change this expression we can add um, let's see here 120 let's see if that's good enough no and we need to push it back a little bit more let's see here we do like so we set this to 200 let's see if that's good enough that seems to be quite perfect there let's see we do like so we can go back here and we can go up here and we can set this to render so we see what's happening we can drag this down again see it right there let's see how this looks yeah that looks fine maybe it's a little bit we need to push it a little bit forward see we go down here again and we can let's see here let's see what we say 180 it would be fine maybe a little bit let's see 150 150 that do just look uh, perfect like so now do we uh, destroy the text in the right place now can we duplicate this layer so mark it and press ctrl d to duplicate it and then can we do so we close this scatter and go down to scatter 2 we can uh, force 1 and we go in here and we're going to push this a little bit further back so uh, we get the other you say scatter a bit after let's see 180 so do we get two scatters that destroys the text like so perfect and now are we going to um let's see we're going to add the glow now see here we're going to add a new layer we go up here and add a new adjustment layer we can rename this so mark the layer and press enter and type glow so so we have a control of which layer is what and then can we add some glow here and then can we go here and type glow then we drag this down to the adjustment layer and here can we set the glow threshold to 50. Can drag this down a little bit and see how oh, seven. Maybe that's perfect there. Maybe we can increase this to let's say 14. And we can change this to alpha channel. Like so. And now can we duplicate this layer twice? We can control d twice and then we go to the second glow and we can crank this up to around 36 it's fine then we can get on here and crank this up to let's say 78 that looks fine i think that's good there perfect and now we're also going to um connect this to the um, engine or the null object so we do the same here we're going to take the archer point tool and uh, drag this archer point out to the the side here we're going to have this at the there perfect like so and then can we do like so that we um we're also going to add um a mask here so we go up here and we take the ellipse tool and then can we uh, double tap on the ellipse tool so do we get this circle here this mask and we can go down to this mask and we're going to um, set the feather 
going to set the furniture around let's see i think around there and we're going to change the mask expansion let's see what we need to change that to minus yeah minus 49 i think that's fine let's see how that looks now we're going to connect this glow um, to the engine so we mark the layer and press p and now we're going to take the pick whip and drag this to the null object position let's see here how does that look not too bad that looks fine how do we have this scattering and the glow after that now we're going to take care of the stroke that we added before so we go down to the text and to the stroke and here we're going to set the size of the stroke here when um, it's have gone to the text so we do want to have the stroke to be bigger so we set the keyframe there and we go forward a little bit more a second so and we can crank this up to uh, see let's see we can drag this up to around uh, 54 i think that's good yeah that's uh, that looks fine so the inside like so yeah and now we're going to add an extra effect on this text layer so we mark the layer and go up and uh, add a simple shocker we drag that down like so and here do we want to activate the simple shocker so we can uh, press the u key to get all the keyframes and then we when we see that all the text is crushed here do you want to activate the, the simple shocker with a keyframe so we set a keyframe over here and we have this this to zero and we can drag it forward a little bit let's see here around here almost five seconds here can we um, set this to 100 like so so there does it almost disappear and now can we see how this look uh, so far i think that looks quite good we maybe have to uh, do like so that when this comes to around here we can mark the text layer and we can press t for opacity and we can set the keyframe there we can go forward a little bit here and set the value to zero so the last particles disappear at the end hey that looks great so now i've been done that um let's see here do we have to do anything more here maybe we can do so that we um set a keyframe let's see here over here let's see set the keyframe here for opacity um like so and we can uh, set this to zero so we get the text to come in we can even do so that we mark those and press uh, f9 to ease the ease them so let's see that's perfect like so how can we do like so we uh, mark all the layers and then can we um, go up to um, layers and um, recompose and we can call it uh, text and we move all attributes and press ok then can we do like so we can uh, drag in the water bubbles so and uh, let's see how that looks And there we have that exploding text. And I hope you have learned something here today that you can use in your product.
And if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to type them below. So I'm going to try to answer them as good as I can. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos and maybe support my channel so I can continue doing uh, tutorials like this. But for now guys, it's time to say, over and out.